I kept that picture because it was me in Okinawa. It was my favorite yeah. picture of myself because when people look at it, they um, they can't tell the difference between between a male and a female, and that's why I really enjoy it. And plus, I'm wearing a dress, and it was very expensive. And look, look, got big lips and full skin. Amazing. I love it. Is that your favorite picture of yourself? My favorite yeah. picture of myself. Yes. When you've actually had enough of something and gotten tired of something, you will do anything to get out of it. How I felt was much like being in a prison cell, only the walls were caved in on you two inches apart from your body and each side and there was no way out. But once I said, Mom, that you know I'm transgendered, it was a long pause because I think she was processing it because I don't even think she meant she understood what exactly it meant. Uh, basically, she told me it was all going to be okay and that whatever it took for me to be happy, she would do it. And it, like I said, it felt right. When people say it's a phase, I guess suppose they think, oh, it's going to end soon. But I looked at being gay, it doesn't fit. I tried. Looking at more terms, I tried med antidepressants, I tried everything, nothing worked. Nothing. You just feel so ashamed, so lost because you want to be normal, but you know you're not when you're transgendered. It was just nature handing me something that wasn't fair. support group. I want to find people like me. I want to get my name changed. I want to start hormones. I want to get the orgiectomy. I want to get the final surgery. And then I want to live on as, as Katie. And I don't want, I want this to never exist. I want this to be like it was, it never happened. A lot of challenges. Uh, probably the most immediate challenge is rejection by friends, family, um, and, and associates that you know, acquaintances you know. Um, so little is known by the general general public about trans being transsexual or transgender, uh, and so there are so many myths and and misconceptions about it. Um, people think we're the people you see on the Jerry Springer show. Uh, well, I was the freak of Bixby High School because. I was always just the odd one out. I would keep it to myself. I wouldn't talk to anybody. I would always have the same kind of clothes on, same jacket. Um, I was always pale because I'd stay in my room. I wouldn't eat because I was so depressed. I'd be skinny. And, you know, they would spit in my direction. Literally, I'd be walking the hall and people would spit on the floor by my feet. And then I'd look, turn around, and they'd be looking at me laughing. Ignorance is not an, an insult, it's just a lack of knowledge. They don't, they've never experienced a transgender before. And Small things in life, 16 and I've had to go through stuff, gone through more pain and stress and uh, being ashamed and confused that some people feel more than their entire life. The, the fact that transgender people don't choose this, uh, no one would choose to go what the pain and the expense and the emotional turmoil and the discrimination and everything else we face, no one would choose that. Um, this is a, research has shown that this is a congenital uh, variation in the gender identity part of the brain. It made me intelligent, honestly. If I wasn't ever transgendered and never would have stayed in my room all the time and been a bookworm, I guess that learned me how to treat people right, never judge, always understand and be compassionate, and no matter what. It's part about being a girl. I just, I, I like feeling pretty. I like literally dressing up and going out and having nice clothes on. Going to stealth is where I will 
never ever again utter the word I'm transgendered from my mouth again. Oh, that's Katie. She's the only transgendered I know. I don't want I don't want that. I'm not no. I just want to be, you know, Katie.